VBN, The Rich Video Blog Network, home to weekly NFL predictions, personality profiles about sports stars, professional wrestlers, and TV personalities, including actors and actresses, sports video blogs about the NBA, NHL, Major League Baseball, NFL, and college sports, professional wrestling video blogs, entertainment video blogs, and a whole lot more. Check out my collection on Facebook and YouTube going back to June of 2014. RVB, B, and the only video blog on the internet that matters. Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. This is Rich again, back for your second and final video blog of the night for Sunday, December 11, 2016, around 7.08 in the evening, Belwick, Massachusetts. It's getting cloudy out, it's about 32 degrees. Tonight and first thing tomorrow morning, it's going to be a minor snow event changing to rain, maybe one to as much as four inches in the Merrimack Valley area. Then it's going to be slop, but the sun's going to be coming out. It's going to warm up those temperatures to the mid 40s. So whatever snow that that falls could be turned to slush and ice. So it's coming in at the early morning, the morning commute. That's not good. Some news to report on the RBBN news. Why do you do do do? Dolphins quarterback Ryan Tanhill tore his ACL. He's out for the year. That's not good for the Dolph Dolphins because they're driving for a playoff spot and Tan Hill was having a great year. Also, Lions quarterback Matthew Stafford broke his, um, tore his middle finger. He's going to be okay. He's not going to miss time, but he's going to have to wear a special glove for the rest of the season. And the Burlington Mall was closed because of a one main break. Not good, especially during the heart of Christmas shopping season. Those things happen. That's about it on news from the RVBN News. Why do, 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 do. Be back in a flash with my second and final video blog subject of the night about my take on the fake news. RVBN. Home to personality profiles. Coming up this week on the RVBN um, video blogs, besides the pers personality profiles, um, subjects will include ESPN the magazine, the former tag team, the natural dessert, Disasters, Earthquake, and Typhoon, Baseball Digest, 2017 Predictions in the World of Business, Week 15 NFL Predictions, it's a classic TV game show chain reaction, and many others. Stay tuned. I'm back. My third and final video blog, my, my se second and final video blog subject of the night is about my take on fake n news. Over the past several weeks, especially after the 2016 presidential election, which was won by Donald Trump, there was uh, there's been a lot of reports about them doing recounts in several states that was that favored Donald Trump, Trump barely, and is saying that it might be mandatory recounts, and also they saying his decision was overturned, but those have been reported to be as false fake and these things are popping up all over the place plus another f stuff with fake news what I consider is death de death of famous celebrities like Jackie T Ch Chain passed away or Chuck Norris passed away or Betty White passed away or whoever and these are like like hoaxes 
for fake news, mainly if you click on these these um news websites, they don't go to a, a credible source, they go to some some phony website, that could be a virus or could lead to to porn sites or or like scammers. Also, another thing with fake news is like trade rumors about about sports players also fake news about um, coaches getting fired I don't know who's been posting all these fake news um, s um, stories about elections or death hoaxes or like coaches getting fired or other stuff like that or like rumors about celebrities breaking up or getting married uh, it could be somebody who's maybe could be a 12 year old kid or it could be some freelance writer trying to get his 15 minutes of fame trying to get some attention so he could he or she could go write for a major newspaper, which is not too many of them, or like somewhat of a major website. But they're running the risk if they post these fake stories of maybe getting sued. Or another thing, their credibility. Their credibility, if they if they're found out to spread these fake news stories, they have no credibility. Nobody's going to listen to them, and they probably would blow their chance to get a serious shop in the writing business. If you post stuff on the internet or anywhere, you need credible sources. You need to be like people, like um, if, if say if your politics be following politics, like travel with the politicians or if you're like report on celebrity deaths or like engagements are bro broken up, you have to be in this in the entertainment business, and if you, you like, if you hear about like sports filings or trades or stuff like that from sports, you have to be a beat writer for many many of these teams. You, and if you just post these stuff without without like their knowledge, you could get yourself in a lot of trouble. Do not, you know, please don't think about posting fake news on these social websites because they could come back to, to to haunt you and fake news in my opinion sometimes it's okay but it's it ha has no place in anywhere with fake news it's just trying it's you, you if you if you post fake news you're running the risk of like having your reputation ruined and that's about it on that. I'll be back tomorrow. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus with three more video blogs for you. First video blog will be about former Major League Baseball player Cecil Cooper. Second video blog of the day will be about ESPN the Magazine. And the third and final video blog of the night will be about the former professional wrestling tag team, The Natural Disasters, Earthquake, and Typhoon. Like I always say, keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Brennan guy. Julie Broughton, New Six of Orlando, Florida, is awesome. She's got the best legs in Orlando, Florida. And I suggest you like her Facebook page because she does Facebook chats. And if you comment on on a Facebook chat, there's a good possibility your name be shouted out. Just like my name is shouted out all the time. Julie, two thumbs up. One of these days, I'm going to interview you on my video blogs. Molly Rosenblatt of WCCL rocks and has nice legs. Another one of my favorites, Molly Rosenblatt. And she is definitely one of these days I want to interview her for my video blogs. Elizabeth Hatso, so stunning. She's the best. Amy Sweezy's awesome. Awesome Amy. And the Church of WPIX, Channel 11 New York, such a rocking cougar. She's got the best leg in New York City, bar none. Bobby gives of ABC 11, has a sweet southern accent. Best legs in Raleigh, North Carolina. Ren Claire of WHGH, Channel 7, Boston. is so cute. She's got the best legs in Boston. And, and Lisa Bell of WKMG, New 6 Orlando, Florida, is cute and she's got the nicest legs in Florida behind Julie Broughton's and Elizabeth Hutt and Amy Sweezy's and in the words of Charlotte, get out! Bye now.